welcome to another exciting edition of Soda Sip and Sunday. Here is a man who's invented what he believes to be a method of flight. Yes, with the feathers attached to the front of him and his extremely muscular back, this man will fly like the birds, or he will plummet to his untimely death. Here, we have what appears to be an alien skull next to some fruit. Interesting. Here, we have a woman attempting to seduce a horse. Here, we have Pinhead, the leader of the Cenobites, and this woman, who appears to be of perhaps a hybrid origin of alien and African-American DNA. And then here, we have what appears to be a student-teacher relationship based on the apple and the way that she's kind of supervising him, but he seems to have a devious look on his face, like maybe he pissed in her coffee or something like that. But James, you might ask, what does my finely curated collection of art, including this sweet t-shirt, which you should take a moment to read because it's pretty awesome, have in common with sodas? Well, let me show you. Well, you see, much like every fine piece of art that's ever been created, uh, a good soda starts with an idea. And to me, the soda I'll be reviewing today is probably one of the coolest ideas for a soda that I've encountered so far. I've been excited about this one. Um, this one here we got is chocolate chip cookie dough flavored ice cream. Yes, chocolate chip cookie dough flavored, I said ice cream, I meant soda. Because you would expect this to be an ice cream, you wouldn't expect it to be a soda. But doesn't that sound delicious? Remember when you were a kid and your mother would be baking cookies or something, you'd sneak in the kitchen and you'd eat some of the friggin' cookie dough and how great that was? It's now in soda form. Unless your mother didn't bake when you were a kid, in which case, I'm sorry, that sucks. But uh, yeah, I've been excited about this one. I'm pretty jacked about this one. And uh, I've also been waiting for uh, an excuse to show you all my fine art collection. Um, but yeah, that's what we have to review today. But um, before you taste the sweetest thing, I feel like you can make it a little sweeter by having something bitter first. So what I have first to try, we got two for one today. Not really a soda, but close enough. Here we have a cold brew coffee. Um, now this is black and unsweetened because I am a man and I prefer my coffee that way. Uh, I know a lot of you out there are thinking like, oh, iced coffee, I love iced coffee. No, you don't, you're full of shit. You don't like iced coffee. You like ice with a bunch of fucking cream and sugar and like a little tiny dab of coffee. This is the real deal right here. In fact, it says their responsibly sourced beans are slow brewed in cold water for 18 hours. Only 18 hours? Uh, handcrafted in small batches for a smooth, less acidic coffee experience. Coffee experience is not a taste, it's an experience. Um, I'm a little concerned how easily the cap came off. It didn't really make a sound or anything, but I guess maybe it's not carbonated, so that might be why. Okay, let's drink this. I'm talking so fast, it seems like I don't really need more caffeine. I have had two cups of coffee already today, which is about my norm. But, let's try this. Maybe we should see how much caffeine's in it first. Uh, 225 milligrams. That's a good amount. Alright, so let's try this here. Yeah, it's black coffee. It's cold black coffee. It is pretty smooth, I have to say that. And um, because it's coffee, it's bitter, which is good because today we want to play with the palate a little bit. We want to do the bitter and then we want to do the sweet. So uh, yeah, I mean, this was like 225 or something like that at Metro. It caught my eye because I've been kind of thinking about trying this before. But uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. And I like the cool little stubby bottle. So if you like black coffee, and you like the idea of drinking it cold, then I would recommend this one. But this is just an appetizer for the real deal. The real deal's this cookie dough one. Um, this is very exciting. If I were eight years old, which is what I feel like just looking at this, uh, I would be very excited to try this. Um, let me just see if there's anything interesting to note on the label. Um, pure cane sugar, I like that. That's always a good sign. Uh, other than that, I mean, it doesn't really say anything cool, but um, uh, this is from the, the Rocket Fizz Company, which makes a lot of the, uh, the more interesting sodas. Um. Nevertheless, without further ado, it's not a twist-off. It's not a twist-off, and I don't have my opener handy. Pardon me a moment. 
Instead of cutting, I'm just gonna go over here and grab it. Cool, I got it. <sighs> Cookie dough ice cream. This is almost sad. I feel like I've built this up so much in my head that it's like bound. I'm so excited I'm gonna smell it first. Oh, it smells like cookie dough. That is fucking delicious. That is actually tastes like cookie dough. Um, it's lightly carbonated, and um, the aftertaste, I keep, I keep making a kind of sound because it's like got a really sweet, uh, sweet aftertaste to it. Um, this is good. This was. Um, This is delivering on the hype. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I don't know if I can finish the whole thing, to be honest, because it is super sweet, but I'm enjoying the flavor of it. Uh, so there you go. We got two winners today. Uh, I'm definitely going to drink the rest of this coffee, and then I'll never sleep again. Um, and uh, I'm going to try to drink most of this cookie dough, but it's probably too sweet. I probably can't drink the whole thing. Anyhow, that's it for this week. Uh, hope you enjoyed my um, little art tour as well. I just thought it'd be an interesting way of, you know, introducing things. And I just watched the, uh, I've been watching the Simpsons Trios of Horror episodes, and I just watched the one um, where Bart uh, introduces the uh, each episode with the paintings. Like, um, oh, my video cut off. I had to uh, start it again. Anyhow, as I was saying, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the art tour as well. Um, I was just watching the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episode where Bart introduces all the paintings. Uh, like he's Rod Serling from the Twilight Zone, but um, in the show Night Gallery. I know that's an obscure reference that nobody my age would get, but maybe some of my, um, I don't want to say older viewers, but that's pretty much the only way of putting it. Um, anyhow, uh, thanks for tuning in again, and uh, we'll smell you later. Uh, eye infections in both your eyes, and that left ear is infected again. Uh, just thought I'd keep you updated on her. Talk to you later. Bye.